Guys, the rumors are true. I'm back playing Dead by Daylight again. In fact, I've been streaming for the last two weeks over on twitch.tv forward slash Dalsy. I stream between the hours of 9 and 6 p.m. UK time. So that's what, like 4 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern for Americans, Monday to Friday. But uh, I wanted to talk about like why I'm back to Dead by Daylight. What are my reasons for spending a year and a half away from Dead by Daylight? And why return now of all times, a year and a half later? We'll get into it. But I didn't want to just sit in front of a camera and do that because we did that last time with the I'm done with Dead by Daylight. So let's get into a game of 2v8 Huntress and talk about it there. Bit of Disturb Ward Huntress. Why not? Got a Wraith with us. And so I figure we should just talk about like why I left Dead by Daylight in the first place because I think that makes it easier to talk about why I'm back. So for those who never watched the I'm Done With Dead By Daylight uh, video and need a refresher, the main th reasons I left Dead By Daylight were to do with game balance predominantly. Ooh, well, that's a spicy shot to start the game off. Um, I was pretty frustrated with the way that behavior were... Oh, that was a fast vault. We're balancing the game. There was such a huge focus on three gen killers, three gen builds. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that is like one of the least fun ways to play DVD. I don't think it's uh, fun at all to, 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 to play around three gens in this game. Um, it kind of turns the game into a more like competitive Dead by Daylight thing. Which is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with comp DVD. But when you're playing public matches, like this is a public match for those who don't know, then <clears throat> I would much rather enjoy the fun elements of DVD over like the um, frustrating ones. And so, like the, co the 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 balance for DVD was like, in my opinion, in the the gutter for like like a year and a half before I uh, I stopped playing. Oh no, right over his head. What a shame. And then, uh, I don't know, as far as I was concerned, like, behavior did me pretty dirty with how they treated a lot of situations with me when it came to, like, the whole kills equals skills thing, Twitch shirts. Even, like, I don't know till this day why. I got removed from the Fog Whisper program. Like, I never got told explicitly what that was for. Um, and like, I was part of that live consultant program back when it was heavy NDAs to, to be a part of it. Um, I got removed from that as well. And like, I was really burnt out with DVD at the time, uh, stressed out with a lot of different things. And that burnout and stress led to a lot of negativity. Um, I'm not like really proud of how I acted during those times and I know that like for uh, some people I hurt them with the way I talked and I'm really apologetic of that uh, I've reached out to like a lot of people and, and apologized and, and reflected on how I was um, and that's kind of like what the last year and a half has been for me has been like working on myself uh, my mental health uh, recognizing who I am a bit better. Like, for example, one thing I never really talked about on my streams on my Twitch channel is that, like, I'm autistic. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know that. Maybe you probably guessed it based on the way I communicate. But, like, I am an autistic person. And that means that, like, my social and uh, communication is not always the best. Um... But like over the last year and a half, I've worked on my mental health. I've worked on my fitness. I now play team sport twice a week. I referee team sport as well. That's been huge as far as uh, improving my mental health. You know, getting that uh, social activity, but also fitness as well. Like that, that is huge. And I'm really proud of where I am physically and mentally from that. Um... And I've also spent like the year, last year and a half, like enjoying playing video games again. Like with Dead by Daylight, Dead by Day Daylight became such a chore and a job. Um, but now I feel like I very much enjoy 
the act of video gaming, which is huge. It's been so fun uh, this year and a half of variety content and trying out new things because I, I actually genuinely enjoy playing video games again, which is uh, which is great. So um, that doesn't really answer why I came back to Dead by Daylight. If anything, some people are probably going, well, you enjoy playing video games again. Why would you come back to this one? Uh, well, like this is what I've seen and this is what I've heard. And the coconut RTS video that I reacted to on my YouTube channel, I'll link it in the um, outro for those who haven't seen it. That really like focused my opinion on things a lot. I definitely felt like based on that video that things had changed somehow. Whether it was the way that behavior acted or their design focuses. Um, whether it was uh, the content they were putting out. Uh, whether it was just the fact that like if things went wrong with the game, they actually addressed it in a, re a reasonable time frame rather than leaving it in the game for like six months. I've heard that like when the community backlashes on something, uh, behavior actually do something about it these days. And that's that's huge. That's so big. Uh, and I'm really happy to hear that. They've like changed in that department. Oh, oh nice dodge. Right at the end there. Um, I can't personally witness, pay witness to that because I've spent the last year and a half keeping Dead by Daylight out of my mind. I don't interact with DVD content. I don't watch DVD streams. The only way I know what's been going on and keeping up with DVD is because people in my Twitch chat will come and say, hey, Dalcy, like, this is in DVD now. What do you think? And I just have to tell them, like, I am not thinking about Dead by Daylight. I don't want to talk about Dead by Daylight. And honestly, I've been a bit abrupt with some people and I apologize for that. But like, that was for my own mental health. And, you know, not being invested in a thing that I was not not you know enjoying and that i needed a break from um and this here like 2v8 is like another big reason this is like the the thing that really sealed the deal if you want to say that uh because i've wanted to play 2v8 in dead by daylight since 2021 when my friend group at the time modded dead by daylight to add 2v8 to the game and um I was invited to be a part of the, the games and the recording sessions for that and told very explicitly by the uh, influencer managers uh, for the Fog Whispers at the time that doing so would result in the removal of my Fog Whisperer and would be a terrible look for behavior. Um, and so I never interacted with that or got involved with that and I really wanted to and it's kind of a bit of a regret of mine that I, I didn't. Um, and now that there's like an actual new game mode in Dead by Daylight for the first time in years, I'm so down for it and I have to play it and I'm very much enjoying it. Um, so like, what is that leave us? Like what, what's next for Dead by Daylight? Well, uh, I don't feel like I'm going to take the game anywhere near as seriously as I once did. Um, and hopefully that is for the better of everyone involved. <laughs> you know, I will talk about my opinions of things. I always will. That's just who I am. I'm very opinionated. I can't help it. Um, I will cover new content. And I will try and be learn as much about the new content as I can and enjoy the new content. I'll give you my honest take on things as always. But I don't see myself uh, becoming as invested as I once was in the game uh, from a treating the game so seriously perspective. I want to try and keep things fresh and, and, and funky when it comes to DVD. Uh, I want to continue making fun, engaging content, whether it be challenge content, whether it be, you know, story-based videos, all that stuff. I want to make sure that I'm very much enjoying myself when it comes to DVD and what I can put out into the game. Uh, collaborating, you know, before 2v8 ends, I've uh, already, you know, set up a couple of uh, collaborations for 2v8. We'll be playing with Coconut RTS, the guy who brought me back to DVD, of course. Uh, I've reached out. Ot said that he wants to do some 2v8 as well, so that'll be fun. Um, and I, I, I would love to do some with, like, jimmy and 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 the the hardcore lot and like as far as hardcore is concerned i'd love to continue doing hardcore killer hardcore survivor i mean that series is dope everyone 
always tells me how much they love it. And there's no way I want to stop doing it. Um, but I do want to make sure that I'm leaving the past in the past. I mean, that's really for my own health and sanity that I leave the past in the past. And so that does mean, like, as far as I'm concerned, everything in the past with hardcore is in the past. And that's just how it is. I'm not going to be focusing on that anymore. I won't be engaging with that anymore. Like, it's 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 done. And uh, I would appreciate it if people respected that. That was a nice shot. But, like, we can move forward with this kind of stuff, you know? There's a lot we can still enjoy in the game. And I want to enjoy in the game. This is a long loop. I think chasing this Jeff is a bad idea. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Nice dodge. I'm worried that this generator here has, like, two people or three people working on it. It does not. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, uh, kind of like the, the overview of why and what when it comes to DVD. Hopefully that makes some sense. And like kind of explains where my head's at with everything. Oh, imagine. I'm sure you can shoot it through there. I'm very much looking forward to this. Like I've had a blast since, uh, August 1st, when I came back to the game about, you know, two weeks ago, I've had an absolute blast playing this game again and making content around this game. It's been so good. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to go. And uh, I hopefully that's like being communicated with my Twitch streams on Twitch and people have enjoyed them as well. Lovely. I, downs like that are so fun. I can't wait to do this with uh, some other people. Ooh, ho, ho. <laughs> spicy. Oh no. Oh, here just in time. Oh, the Wraith went right past them. Is she going to turn around? Oh, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, dear. It's been great. I feel, I feel so much better, honestly. And on, you guys, uh, the people who've come and supported my content on Twitch, uh, the people who've commented on YouTube, like you guys have been so positive. Oh, uh, it's been such a, a blast to get back into this again. Um, you guys have made it very clear that I've been missed and that I've been appreciated and I want to say thank you to those who uh, who are coming back and saying hi again now that we're we're doing DVD stuff again. It means so much to me, honestly. To uh, to hear. Oh, I think I actually could have closed that if I was a bit faster. <laughs> One last big snipe for the road. I guess it's not really a big snipe if they stand still. So yeah, I figured we'd just talk about this on a YouTube video. Let me pull up the big screen. I probably missed a couple of things, I'm going to be honest. That's okay. You know, this is a, a a new journey to go along together, and I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and uh, if you missed the video that I made uh, reacting to Coconut's video, uh, then that is going to be over here somewhere on the screen. So uh, go check that out and enjoy.